Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Dune the Mug Guard. This product retails for $27.95. This is a fairly new product that I've seen on Ulta's website. I was really drawn to the packaging of this product and I also just was interested because it was a new sunscreen. I haven't heard much from this brand. I think it is fairly new, but since it is in Ulta, I wanted to give it a try and see how this product performed. This product is an SPF 30 and it is a chemical sunscreen. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. This product does have denatured alcohol in it, and I know that there is a lot of controversy surrounding that ingredient, but I have heard that it is okay to formulate it with sunscreens. I don't know what the current science is behind it, but I've seen it done before, and I've seen people say that it's not necessarily a bad thing. So, like I said, this is a chemical-based sunscreen, and the sunscreen filter they've used in this product include avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octicrylene. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. This sunscreen also says it is water resistant and I haven't tried any water resistant chemical based sunscreens before but I have tried some mineral and they have been very heavy on the skin so the big things I'll be looking for with this product include what type of finish does it leave and does this product cause any acne. I'm not really worried about a white cast because it is a chemical filter sunscreen but I do want to see if it is a heavier sunscreen since it is water resistant. As for anything else I will be continuing to do check-ins so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. As I always do with my sunscreen reviews, I am in natural lighting right now just so you can see an accurate visual of what this sunscreen looks like. I have used this sunscreen once today and it seems to be a very lightweight sunscreen. I do like this product it is extremely lightweight and it doesn't leave a white cast on me because it is a chemical filter sunscreen and usually those are a little bit easier to work with. I would be interested to see this on different skin tones though this product packaging is pretty clean it does have like I, I feel like I used to use a sunscreen with a push top like this it's not my favorite packaging this right here is the texture of the sunscreen and as I rub it in it just melts into the skin. It kind of just becomes nothing. It is a very neutral sunscreen. It doesn't really leave much of a finish on the skin. It's definitely, it's definitely a little bit more hydrating at first, but it dries down pretty nice. And I don't even feel it on the skin as it wears. So I do the three finger technique with this. It does have a little bit of a blue tone to it. see it's a very dewy finish at first but like I said it does melt into the skin very nice and it becomes almost like a neutral sunscreen I feel like this product has a great feel so far I'm enjoying it I'm gonna continue using it and seeing how it performs and then I'll check in again so I will see you all in the next check-in hi everyone I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product I really enjoyed this sunscreen it had a very lightweight gel texture to it and I feel like it absorbed very nicely this sunscreen was definitely more on the hydrating side. It gave a really nice glow to my skin and the more that I would reapply it, it did start to feel just a little bit too hydrating to me. But if you do have dry skin, I feel like it would be great. This product though did have alcohol in it and usually I am able to tolerate it, but it has a very strong alcohol smell. So just be aware of that. It also did cause a little bit of sensitivity the more that I would use it. I found that my skin did have some redness to it and it was a little bit sensitized when I would touch it. And I recognize that feeling because I've used some alcohol products before. Sometimes I can tolerate it, sometimes I can't. Just be mindful of that. If you do have sensitive skin, I would stray away from this product just because of the alcohol. I know that there is technology behind it and I'm not sure the current research on it, but I know it used to enhance sunscreens and that's why people would use it. I did find that I experienced just a little bit of sensitivity when I would reapply it throughout the day and also whenever I would just use it every day. 
so I'm not the biggest fan of this sunscreen also for the price point with the chemical filters in this I do prefer Korean sunscreens or Korean chemical filters but I did enjoy the light gel texture to this I don't feel like I've seen that with a lot of other sunscreens the only one that I can think of is the Starface sunscreen that had a very gel consistency to it and if you are sensitive to alcohol that would be a good alternative to this this product is just fairly expensive for the chemical filters that I see in this and so with that and the alcohol I don't see myself repurchasing this product I'm just not the biggest fan of it myself and I don't think I would personally repurchase it the only reason I would recommend it is because it did have a great finish to it it was a little bit more hydrating and I really did like the feel of the sunscreen it absorbed very nicely and it was extremely lightweight on the skin just more on the hydrating side but anyway thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because i post new videos every week and i will see you all in the next review